Good morning, everyone. So it's about 7.20 in the morning. Uh, I woke up today at 5 to get a head start and get out here a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, we're in the middle of the Everglades and it's about 67 degrees. Um, and that's very unusual for Miami at this time of the year. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, hopping around a very busy highway um, and trying to see if we could get on a multitude of species um, in these little canals. And the cool thing about this place is these canals are tiny and it's right by a very, very, very hectic uh, highway with very heavy traffic. Um, so we're gonna be throwing uh, a couple artificial lures and basically just hoping for the best. Um, but there's just so much fish in these, so many fish in these canals um, and they are very, very hungry this time of year. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get on some late spawning uh, largemouth um, also, peacock bass are pre-spawn right now. Um, some of them are already spawning, so they might be a little bit more aggressive than usual. Um, and hopefully we get to see those guys in this episode. Other than that, we're gonna be going for basically anything that bites. I kinda just wanna show you guys the fishery um, on this crazy, hectic highway um, and how life is still kinda very, somehow, um, you know, competing with the busy traffic and all that. So definitely stay tuned, guys, and let's get into the fishing. Got one, got one. Hardly hooked. Hardly hooked. Let's go ahead and get this guy on. Wow, these guys fight hard. These guys fight so hard. Let's get him on. I think he's snagged. Look how beautiful that fish is, guys. Their colors are just out of this world. Look at those reds, orange, blue, and then that tail. Looks like it got painted by somebody. This right here is a male. As you can tell right here on the hump, he probably just spawned pretty recently. And once again, guys, this is right here on a super, super busy highway. There's just so many fish, absolutely so many fish on this highway. And it's in a little, little pond, as you can see, or canal, very small little canal, just getting these beautiful, beautiful fish. So first species of the day, finally, right? I switched up from the fluke over to a mirror lure, just to get a little bit more grip on these guys, but let's go ahead and release them. Got him, got him. Let's see if this one comes off. Oh my God. Got another one, got another one. Come on, come on buddy. Come on. These guys just have these crazy rattles. They're so um, they're so amped up all the time that it's hard to keep a hook in their mouth because the amount of times that they, you know, shake around. That is a beautiful Everglades peacock bass. The colors on these guys are amazing. 
it's crazy because down where I live in Miami, we have these in the canals, but they're never this pretty. These are just on another level of gorgeous. It's awesome. Let's go ahead and release it. All right, guys, so I just finished messing around with those peacock bass. Now I'm on my way to find a largemouth. That's really what I've been wanting so far. Um, it's been fun messing around with those peacocks uh, and all the other species, but I really want to get on a largemouth. So I'm going to go ahead and head west down this highway um, and see if I could get a couple uh, little largemouth or maybe a really big one. Um, recap of what's going on. We're fishing small, small little canals. I'm telling you, like, you know, these things are five feet deep max and only about 10 feet across. So tiny, but with just thousands and thousands of fish in them. It's actually incredible. Um, and I'm really loving it so far. Uh, bait so far that I've used is the mirror lure. Uh, for the peacocks. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing the worm and a couple other soft baits um, and also jerk baits for the largemouth bass and basically all the cichlids and Amazonian fish they'll eat anything so if you're coming down this road um, or anywhere in Florida just bring something shiny if you want to get on some uh, exotics uh, but yeah I'll see you guys soon. Got one, bass, nice bass. Ooh, tough spot here, let's see. That's a nice bass, come on, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God. Oh, he's gonna come off. Oh, he wrapped me on the ledge. Oh my God, nice bass. Oh, there's a huge car coming behind me. Oh my God, what a tank. Look at that. Look at that beast. Big bass. That thing is a monster. Woo -hoo. Damn, right here on the highway. Monster. That's the biggest bass I've gotten out here. This is a small creek, so anything bigger than a pound, this is definitely bigger than a pound. It's about two, three pounds. No, definitely more than three. Let's say it's like a three pound bass. Crazy, right here on the side of the road. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. Right under the bridge. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Another one. Not as big, but these are the largemouth I wanted, finally. Check that out, guys. Right under the bridge, he smacked the worm. Absolute beautiful largemouth bass. Beautiful. These guys are really vibrant in color as well. Everything out here is just glowing. I love this part of the uh, of the highway. It's just so much more calm. It's awesome. Let's get a release. There we go. Oh yeah, right in there, there's no water. Under the pylon. Ooh. Oh my God, I caught this guy in a puddle basically. Oh God, that's insane. That's a nice one too. That's a nice one. This guy was in inches of water, right under the bridge, inches. I took that cast literally just, you know, to see for fun. All right guys. So I just caught this little guy right under the bridge. He absolutely inhaled it. The moment it hit the water, he just crushed on it. This is the second or, yeah, this is the third actually. Third largemouth bass so far. Uh, these guys are actually staying on the hook. Those uh, peacock bass were a pain in my butt, so 
nice, vibrant colored largemouth bass. That's awesome. All right guys, so that pretty much ends today's video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Uh, if you guys wanna see something similar to this, leave a comment below and I'll go ahead and do it. Also leave a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That really helps this channel a lot and allows me to do stuff like this uh, in the future. Also, um, to recap what happened today, just in case you might've missed some stuff, we got on some peacock bass and some largemouth bass, one being pretty big. And guys, this is in really, really small amounts of water, which is what makes it so crazy and so cool. Um, and also, this is probably, if not the most dangerous highway in America, definitely one of the most dangerous highways. You're literally, you know, fishing right by cars blaring at like 90 miles per hour. Um, and it gets a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. But there's a lot of stuff going on out here as well. Um, tons of fish, tons of life. So it's really cool to see this firsthand. Thank you guys once again. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in that next episode.